So guys, before I start this update, I just want to tell you where I've been and why I have not been uploading aviation content to YouTube. Uh, I wish I could say that I've been in Mexico, but I haven't. Um, I have been lost in the world of Minecraft. Uh, I've been turning into a big gamer lately, and I hated it. And I've pretty much quit Minecraft now. I'm going to hop back into the grind of aviation Hopefully pull out regular airport updates for you guys, and I just wanted to say I'm super, super sorry for not uploading in the past couple of months, and I hope you guys can forgive me. So a couple of changes to this airport update, I'm not sure if uh, the two American MD-80s were in my last airport update, but if not, they're here today. And uh, the Delta MD-90 has returned to the airport, that's him right there. Uh, he has returned to the airport. He was broken. We lost his stabilizers. Uh, that is one of my brother's models, and his stabilizers fell off and we lost them, but we found him and glued him back on. And, um, uh, so I- and there was also a new airport update layout. And as for information on the Blue Skies Airport Alliance, I just wanted to say that it's slowly falling apart. Our head admin actually just left the Alliance today, so we are looking for new members. If you guys have- a model airport in 1 to 200, 1 to 400, or 1 to 500 scale. DM me on Instagram. I'm at future southwest air pilot. Underscores in between each of the words. Uh, DM, me, DM me a picture of your airport and you most likely get into the alliance. So, again, thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. I'm really sorry for the lack of airport updates lately. And I do have two new models coming into the mail, thanks to the airplane shop 2 for 1 sale on Gemini Jets 1 400. Guys, go check that out. But I hope you guys all enjoyed, and let's get into the update. What is up, guys? Gemini Jets 10 here, and I am back with another airport update of Austin Zeppelin International Airport. As you should have seen in the clip right before this, the reasons why I haven't uploaded lately. So if you haven't you skipped over that, go back and watch it, and you'll know. So, this update takes place around 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not so sure if there are models that I haven't shown before, but again, any additional information is in the first clip. So, we're going to start with the runways. 27 right is the active arrivals runway, 27 left is the active departures runway, but there's only one aircraft and he's not even arriving or departing. UPS Boeing 747-400 Freighter is currently just about to cross runway 27 left. He landed in from Dubai about five minutes ago, and he's going to taxi to his gate and begin to offload. And there's a rock here because it's fixing a fold that was in the new mat. And speaking of that, there's a crooked aircraft. Let me just fix that. Here we go. So, <clears throat> right here on the taxiway, I'm not sure if I've showed this model before, but... This is one of my American MD-80s. This is the regular MD-80. Uh, he is taxiing to gate 4 at the American Airlines terminal. He arrived in from a short flight from Brownsville, Texas. <sighs> Back here at gate 1, we have an American Airlines MD-87. He is parked at gate. Let me get a better shot of him. And we'll focus on him. And uh, he has parked at gate. He came in from Chicago about an hour or so ago. And he will load back. Sorry, guys. My dad called me, so I had to answer that. But this guy came in from Chicago about an hour ago, and he's going to load back up in about 30 minutes, head back out there. <clears throat> Moving on to gate three. Right here, we have the American Airlines Boeing 737-800. He arrived in from Greater Minnesota International Airport, or Amtrak Spotter HD's airport, on behalf of the Blue Skies Airport Alliance. Uh, he arrived in from there about half an hour ago. He is still in the offloading process, and he is going to head back out there in, I'd say maybe about an hour and a half. Empty American Airlines gate where the MD-80 is going. Then here at gate 6, we have the American Airlines Boeing 757-200. He is here on the International uh, Concourse, the Narrowbody International Concourse. It's just two gates. But this guy, he arrived in from 
Cosmo, Mexico, and he's going to head back out to Cosmo, Mexico in about three hours or so, just because the plane has to, uh, all the passengers have to go through customs and stuff, and it might take a while. Moving on to the American Airlines hangar, just moving down the airport. American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER, he is in the hangar due to an issue with his right main landing gear. They had a tire explode upon landing. Uh, everything is fine, but they're just getting that fixed because some damage was done to the engine and the undercarriage of the wing as well. So they're repairing that. He is going to head back out to Los Angeles tomorrow morning, or San Francisco tomorrow morning, after they get him all fixed up. Then parked over here next to the hangar, we have the American Airlines Boeing's 777-300ER. He came in from Paris, France about five hours ago. He offloaded. Uh, that process took about two and a half hours. Then they parked him back over here. He pulled into that side gate right there by the iPhone box. And uh, he is going to wait until morning, and he is going to head back out to Paris, France. So in about 12 to 15 hours, he's going to head back out to Paris. Moving over here to the International Terminal, uh, it has the Lego Terminal, uh, which used to be a domestic terminal, but I kind of turned it into the Lego Terminal. Then they, then, uh, iPhone 5S boxes and iPhone 5S boxes. So that's the International Terminal, and that's the Gemini Guest Terminal, if you guys didn't know. But, parked here at gate... Parked here at gate 5, sorry about that. Uh, per tier gate 5, we have a Qantas 747, Boeing 747 400 in the Socceroo. He arrived in from Sydney about four hours ago. Then he offloaded. That process took about three hours, and he's heart standing until about midnight. From there, he's going to load back up and do a night flight back out to Sydney. Taxiing to gate 4, we have an Emirates Bo Boeing. Uh, we have an Emirates Airbus A330-200. He arrived in from Dubai United Arab Emirates about six minutes ago, and he is just about to pull into his gate and begin offloading. Empty gate, or the KLM is coming. You haven't seen that guy yet. But right here, we have an Aeromexico Boeing 757-200 in the, in the old Aeromexico colors. He is parked here at gate two. He came in from Mexico City about... I'd say maybe 45 minutes ago, and he's still in the offloading process. Then parked here at gate 1, we have the Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747-400. And sad thing about Virgin Air, guys, they're being bought out by Alaska Airlines, from what I know. Uh, Richard Branson had no choice but to sell the airline, which really, really sucks. But, uh... They are being bought out, so this is probably one of the last times you guys will see this aircraft. I'm probably going to keep it like some of my older aircraft, but it'll just go on display. Um, I'll probably use it as for as long as I still see these babies on Flight Radar 24 flying and stuff. <clears throat> so, right here on the taxiway, we have a KLM Boeing 747-400. In the new colors, he is taxiing to gate 3 at International Terminal 2. Yeah, at International Terminal 2. And he arrived in from Amsterdam about four minutes ago. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pause the recording again, but... Oh, I'm gonna turn my flashlight on. Be right back. So guys, I want you to... I don't know if that picked me entirely up, but guys, I want you to tell me in the comments below... Uh, whether or not you like the flashlight on, I kind of like it. It kind of gives some interesting lighting effects, but it does give a strange glare off of the aircraft. So if you feel like it, comment below whether or not you like the flashlight. Uh, depending on majority, I will keep it or not keep it. And if nobody says anything, then I'll probably just keep it on. But right here we have a Royal Australian Air Force AC-130. He is parked here at cargo ramp 1. He's just waiting for his next mission to head out wherever he is going to be going. So then, right here, this is a, uh, a wide-body 
ramp kind of um, freight aircraft can park here. Pretty much any aircraft can park here, whether it's just heart standing or if they actually need it to offload or load passengers on, depending if it's a busy day at the airport and a lot of aircraft are on the ground. But right here in the middle and between the two main taxiways, or the oval taxiways, I call it because it kind of makes an oval around the airport, but uh, right here in the center of the taxiways is kind of an area where I put it as just mixed and narrow body aircraft parking. They can come up here, they'll get air stairs and stuff. And American Airlines does use it despite the fact they have a terminal. I'm going to take the flashlight off for this. But American Airlines does use this uh, for their narrow body aircraft. So, there's a rack there. I don't know if I said this, but there's a rack there because it's holding down a fold on the map. So, right here, we have a Delta MD-90. You guys haven't seen this baby in a while. Again, if you watch the first clip, you'll know why. But he is parked here. He came in from Atlanta, Georgia about 15 to 20 minutes ago, and he is still in the offloading process. Right here, we have an American Airlines A319. He arrived in about 10 minutes ago from a short flight from Dallas-Fort Worth, and they are still in the offloading process. I know there's no GSE, I just didn't bother to take it out because I really wanted to get this airport update out. But right here, we have an Allegiant MD-83. He is parked here at gate three. And he is going to be heading out to Las Vegas in about 15 minutes. Then right here we have a Southwest Boeing 737-700 with uh, Southwest.com winglets. He came in from Central Texas International Airport, or Gemini Jets 1975's airport, about half an hour ago. He offloaded and he is in the process of loading back up to head back out to Central Texas International Airport. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this really long airport update, which went a bit longer than I would have wished. There's the Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747-400. But this airport update did run a bit longer than I would have wished. And I'm sorry for that. And I'm probably going to try to rush through this. I hope you guys all enjoyed this airport update. Uh... If you would, leave a like, a comment, and if you feel like it, subscribe. I am super close to 100 subscribers, guys, and I'd like to thank you to all of my subscribers. And I do have two new models coming in the mail. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but if not, then I know it's been mentioned in the first clip. But I do have two new models coming in the mail, thanks to the airplane shop, Gemini Jets 2 for 1 sale. Guys, go check that out if you feel like it. And I, again, if you are looking to join the Blue Skies Alliance, if you have a 1200, 1400, or 1500 scale model airport, hit me up on Instagram, and you guys will probably be able to join the alliance as long as you show me a picture of your airport that is up. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a good night. I will talk to you guys all later. Goodbye.